Well, Kenny, a fantastic win today. Yeah, it was hard fought, and um, we do look like if we can get you know our shape right and our interceptions right, we've got goals in us, and um, that's a, a key thing. You know, every, every game. If we can just make sure we, we have enough discipline and hard work and defensive stability, we do feel when we get the ball, maybe in terms of our selections, they're pretty good and we have got options really from the bench as well, with the like of Ryan Williams and Michael Jacobs out. So, you know, that's a pleasing aspect of today. It was really cat and mouse in terms of, you know, where the spaces were, but we exploited it very well. I think I read that it was 26 goals you scored so far this season, which is the highest in the league. That must be particularly pleasing for you. Yeah, the, the, the goals scored and obviously the goal difference are, are quite good and they're encouraging. The majority of the season is ahead, so it's what we do going forward. But uh, you know, having the ability to you know, score is, is obviously a big thing and you know, we've showed that in the first 13 games. Uh, we'll have to continue it though. There's some very good teams in the league and you know, the top part of this league is, is a very good standard with, with some excellent teams. Uh, we've shown some promise but that's all. Uh, we're in a good position uh, but we want to capitalise on that if we can. But you know, delighted with today. It was, you know, it was real cat and mouse stuff on the ball and um, you know, at the right times you know, we've made good interceptions, uh, did well from you know, defensive set pieces early in the game which didn't give them a little bit of a leg up uh, but uh, also then going forward when we did win it back we were ruthless enough to uh, put the ball in. You mentioned the goal difference, can Craig McGilvery count himself unlucky that he didn't keep a clean sheet on his 100th appearance for the club? Well you know we've, we've got caught on a short corner whatever, whatever it is you know we've got beaten out there and you know the ball hit his hand and um, yeah it's, you know our players are saying it's it's very close and do you get that? That's the debate right the way through football. It's gone against us today, definitely. Yes, it could have, you know, could have easily um, been the other way and, and you know, not a decision to, to give the penalty. I do understand that. Uh, but um, you know, it's, it's, it's a hard one to call for the referee uh, because you know, some, something hits his hand that close. Uh, is it in an unnatural position? That's, a, that's the, um, the question. He's deemed it a penalty anyway and deleted, deemed it deliberate and we have to accept that. Ronan straight back into the team and showed no signs of tiredness after international duty. No, both Ronan and Marcus Harness are big players for us, and you know, as you say, Ronan's played in the week. Marcus hasn't, but you know, linking up and after international uh, duty, are, you know, big ones, and you want your players back. But I, I had every, every I spoke to both of them on Friday morning. They both trained, looked good, uh, were, were lifted by the experience of going with the international side, which is which is a good thing, which is a plus of. of of your players getting called up and both were really energetic uh, today and keen to play. And just finally it's straight back into it on Tuesday. Yeah it is we you know we start a series of, of home games we have Oxford and we know how you know they've won today and you know the talent that they have we've seen them in the playoffs so you know we'll have to concentrate on that game and then the second round of the FA Cup next Saturday so you know, three home games in eight days um, with a, a record that we want to try to improve if we can at home.